Harry here for Hardcore Course Updates and Reviews. Tonight I am going to be doing a review on Splatter Farm, the uncut version. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. Now, I started really getting into the Shadow and Video Shit Fest um, lately. Um, from different groups on Facebook and just looking at um, some of the pictures that I have my files of uh, a lot of the old shot on video um, horror gore films that I've collected over the years and um, I started getting interested in this one again from Splatter Farm or Splatter Farm I started getting interested in that again and uh, I started to look in my collection and I realized that I didn't have a the copy of it on DVD so I started looking on Amazon and was reading some of the reviews of the camp motion picture um, DVD release of it. it was cut so after doing a little digging I found out the only uncut version of the film is on VHS from camp pictures um, I guess the 80s release on VHS the one I just showed you on my phone um, so I was able to get a, uh, a friend of mine to uh, send me a copy that had it on VHS because I looked on eBay and I could not find a VHS copy of it it must be very rare which a lot of those VHS's are now becoming quite pricey so and collectible so um, I did get, obtain a copy um, of the film and People really didn't uh, explain to the, what why they cut um, the DVD for. Um, some people say that the, the directors were getting older and they just wanted to cut out some of the footage. So that kind of got me curious what the footage is because I remember watching the DVD a few years ago and thinking that it was gory but it wasn't really anything special. And I didn't understand why it kept on popping up in Facebook and stuff. So after watching the uncut version of Splatter Farm, um, I realized that there was a lot of sick stuff in that, especially for a film that was made in 1987. Um, when we start out that it has the most atrocious acting I've ever seen in my entire life, ed uh, most atrocious editing and music that I've ever heard in my entire life. The gore effects were pretty good for the budget they had. That was probably what they spent their whole money on um, with the gore effects. But the acting, the the quality of the camera work, everything was just terrible um, in this film. The story was unoriginal. It's about these two twins that go to stay with their aunts and her their her cut their cousin and their aunt and their cousin. They stay at this farmhouse and. Um, they're kind of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre killers. So, now, what was cut from the film was some necrophilia. Um, I think that this is the first film that actually showed a severed head blowjob. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I have never seen anything prior to that. Um, that, that I don't remember that ever being um, in the original DVD cut that I've seen. Um, there's also anal fisting, Dirty Sanchez, um, a lot of homosexual stuff um, that I don't remember in the original. Let's see what else. There was some more stuff. I just can't really think of it on top of my head. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of homosexual stuff, a lot of uh, degrading stuff um, that I don't remember uh, in the original or the DVD uh, that I have somewhere in my collection. So there was a lot of this stuff was kind of shocking to see for this film. I mean, even though it was poorly acted, there was um, oh, there was golden showers on top of all this stuff being buried alive, um, just all sorts of weird shit. I mean, this is, it was kind of a strange film. Um, this, this older woman, like, making sexual advances towards this, like, 18-year-old kid. I mean, it was just a really weird film. 
um, especially whenever it's supposed to be this kid's aunt, and she ends up raping him with roofies, he gives him a roofing, rapes him. But if you've seen the film, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, but I, I do recommend uh, seeking out a uncut version of this film. Um, it's pretty weird and pretty fucked up. I mean, it's for 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 the time, 1987. I you just never seen anything like it. Um, even though it's it's hard to watch because it's so shitty at times. I mean, I don't want to disrespect the filmmakers, but it honestly is pretty bad. But the gore is good. Um, the shock element is good for that time period. But um, the music and the acting and everything else and the editing is just really horrible. But. I was happy to get a copy of it, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. If I can ever obtain a VHS, I would love to have one. So that's my review of the Splatter Farm Uncut VHS Edition. And you guys have a boring one.